Now in this video we are going to cover the most important topic of our the Linux series that is the permissions. Okay. So uh, in this video we will cover the concept which lies inside this particular topic and uh, commands we will cover in the next video. Okay. So basically uh, let me tell you about the permissions. I hope you may be aware of it uh, but uh, still let me tell you like uh, I will tell you with uh, one of the example with a real life example. Uh, suppose you have a PC and you are the administrator of that particular PC and you have some other users like your brother or you can or your sister okay and you have some kind of files okay which you don't want to show those files to that particular user or particular your brother okay so in this case what you will do you will spe specify a particular permission to that file so that file should not visible or should not accessible to other user so in this way we can set permissions to the files or directories or whatever you want so that should not be accessible to other users or other person okay or you want your files to like keep it secret or keep it private you can say so uh, I will tell you with uh, a diagram also so that uh, it will be easy to understand for you guys so here you can see you uh, here is the administrator that is you okay and uh, Suppose uh, here is your brother, uh, your brother, okay, or sister, you can say, and also you have some files also. That is, I will name it as a private files, okay, and uh, this one, and from this to this you have uh, like uh, you will have the access and your brother will not have the access for it not access okay so in this way you can understand like this is the private file okay you have the administrator you have the access for it but your brother or sister uh, if they want to access this particular file they will get the error like permission denied or something like that okay so in this way permission uh, like uh, you can get the scenario of the how permission work okay uh, so now uh, in our Linux operating system or you can say Ubuntu uh, sorry I will show you the permissions okay so I hope you are aware of ls command so this command basically doesn't so much information about uh, the what are the permission what is the size who is the user who is the group uh, all these things it doesn't so but when we'll do ls hyphen l then it basically like uh, what we can say long listing description of the files and directories okay wait a minute so in this way here you can see there are multiple columns uh, like you will think first like uh, what are these things uh, I'm not getting anything but here you can see like this is first column is just for permissions next column is for this is the hard links which we will cover in other videos okay and this is the user who is the user who have access of that particular directory and who are the groups and this is the file size date uh, modification date and time these things are there and this is obviously the directory name so right now in this video we don't have to focus on all these other columns like user group uh, we will have a separate video when at the time we use occasion all these things but now in this video we have to only focus on these particular things like only on the first column what is the d r w x r w x r what are these things so we will cover now in this video okay so I hope you got it now what I will do I will increase the font size first let it be 18 not 18 uh, 24 yeah uh, wait a minute yes first uh, uh, I will write the RWX okay again similar thing is we have to do RWX and RW 
x i will tell you one by one what is these things so basically r what is r r stands for read and uh, we have w stands for write okay and uh, x x stands for execute okay so these are the some uh, like uh, notations rwx is for the permission in our linux operating system that is r stands for read it just means suppose you have a file and you want to give that file only the read access to some kind some other user similarly in kind of your brother sister okay suppose here is your like some documentation you have and uh, you want to show it your brother so you can give only the read permission to your brother or to your other user like he can only read these files okay and what is the write permission suppose when you will give the read and write permission to this particular documentation file so in this case suppose uh, uh, they are in the same project with you so what will happen they can change these files also according to him and the rwx is nothing but the read write execute it means you will give the all the permissions uh, like execute permission we basically use for the some kind of scripts and all these things like when we will cover basic scripting so you will get to know about this dot sh files and all or we can say dot py also for python files okay so these are the things uh, uh, for in the read write execute so i hope you got it what is read what is write what is execute so now here comes why i have written these three 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 so here is the reason behind it the first section is only for the user the user uh, whoever is the user they will have the like these permissions right now they have read write execute all these three permissions okay and uh, next is for group okay and uh, next is for uh, wait a minute next is for whom other or you can say some uh, other books or some other uh, on net or uh, you can get like other world or anything else like okay so uh, these are the uh, three the permission total nine nine permission we have three for user other three for group and other three for other like other world okay so here you can see in our system uh, I will uh, make a directory so it will be visible to you and I will try to uh, create one directory test one and uh, touch file dot txt ls okay so like here you can see I've created two files like uh, with when you will apply this uh, semicolon then you can write multiple commands in a one single line okay I hope you you got to learn new things okay so now I will do uh, ls hyphen l so here you can see uh, the file permissions for uh, user and D is for directory and this uh, hyphen is for only for the files okay there are some also other notations uh, which we'll cover in advanced video okay when we will executing commands okay so here you can see rwx rwx that is how much it uh, that is 6 and again rwx okay so here in place of uh, w you can see that is hyphen means it means zero like uh, that other user is, is not having any permission to write anything inside the directory okay and this rwx rwx means they the user and the group have all the permissions okay i hope you got it so uh now what we have to do uh now i will tell you about the, some kind of like uh, you can see numeric representation like how we can represent the uh, what we can say uh, permissions of this so basically what happens this is in this uh, uh, wait a minute 
for R we basically gave a number that is uh, read wait a minute I will write here only here for R we gave particular number that is 4 okay and for uh, right we give it 2 and for 1 we give it uh, for execute we give it 1 so overall when you will add all these numbers so for all suppose if you want to give all the permission to some kind of file so in this case you will provide this 777 okay it means uh, you are providing 7 for user also 7 for group also other 7 for other also and suppose uh, and also one more is remaining that is 0 what is 0? 0 is nothing for no permission ok if you will uh, give it 0 to some other like uh, for any case uh, you will give it a 0 then uh, they will not have uh, any kind of permissions ok now uh, suppose uh, there is a file that is uh, suppose this documentation file I want to give this uh, as a only uh, read and write permission to the no read write execute permission to the user so in case of user I will write 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is I will write 7 for the user okay and similarly for uh, group what uh, for group I just want to give them uh, only what we can say uh, write permissions okay so I will just give it them two okay it basically means zero plus two plus zero like it will automatically like uh, accept like uh, that particular group has only write permissions okay and for other user suppose uh, you want to give it as uh, for other I want to give them as uh, 6 like 4 plus 2 plus 0 so they will only have the read and write permissions okay so overall what we will write we will write 7 2 7 2 and 6 okay Uh, right now I don't have mouse with me so I'm getting this problem okay so now so to give the permission to like uh, for user you want to give them all the permission so we can, you can give it simply as 7 for group uh, suppose you want to give only the right permission you can give it 2 or uh, suppose you want to give other or uh, like only uh, read and write permission so you can give it 4 plus 2 that is 6 so the overall like uh, number which you will provide in the ch mode command that is the uh, 726 so what uh, when you don't want to give any permission to the other user so in this case you can give it them as a zero suppose uh, the same scenario like you want to give group s2 so what you can do that is 720 simple so uh, I hope you got it the concept of read write execute and uh, how this is divided like RWX 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 what is these three uh, like we have like a separate permission for read write execute for one user then for group for other and uh, also I hope you got this representation of numeric okay in binary also we can represent like for four I think we represent uh, uh, 100 and uh, yeah let me write it for binary also <clears throat> so for binary we write 100 and uh, for 4 for 2 I think we write uh, uh, it's uh, 010 it may be uh, I hope I am correct uh, wait a minute So for two, what we write? 
zero one zero and the for one uh, it's uh, I think zero zero one it should be zero zero one okay so uh, let me check it once also I don't want to like share wrong information with you guys uh, for in binary it's one double zero okay yeah here you can see one double zero and for two it should be zero one zero yeah you zero one zero is there uh, we can get like zero one zero it is there and for one we will get uh, uh, yeah it's either one okay so this is correct so in binary also you got to learn about how we can write in the binary also so uh, that's all for today's video i hope you liked it.